Growing tomatoes in plastic bags offers an economical and space-efficient way to cultivate these delicious fruits. Here's a comprehensive guide to help you successfully grow tomatoes in plastic bags. Choosing the right bag. Select durable, large plastic bags that can accommodate the plant's root system and provide ample space for growth. Reusable shopping bags or heavy-duty garbage bags work well. Ensure they are clean and have no holes except for the ones you'll make for drainage. Soil preparation. The soil you use is crucial for the tomato plant's growth. Create a nutrient-rich mix by combining compost, potting soil and perlite or coarse sand. The compost enriches the soil, while the potting mix provides necessary nutrients and perlite ensures proper drainage. Fill the plastic bags with the prepared soil mix, leaving a few inches of space at the top. Ensure the soil is loose and well aerated, providing an optimal environment for the roots to develop. Best time to plant tomato seedlings. The ideal time to transplant tomatoes outdoors is when the threat of frost has passed and the soil has warmed up, usually around two weeks after the last expected frost date in your area. For most regions, this falls in late spring or early summer. Tomatoes thrive in warm soil and air temperatures, so wait until nighttime temperatures consistently stay above 50 degree Fahrenheit before transplanting. Fertilize your tomato plants. Creating a liquid fertilizer from weeds and kitchen scraps for your tomato plants is a fantastic eco-friendly approach. Utilize nitrogen-rich weeds like comfrey or nettles and mix them with chopped kitchen waste, banana peels, coffee grounds. Combine in a bucket, cover with water and let it decompose for a few weeks. Strain the mixture, dilute it with water and use it to nourish your tomato plants. This homemade fertilizer provides essential nutrients, promoting healthier growth and fruit production. It's a sustainable and cost-effective method that reduces waste while enhancing your garden's vitality. Provide support to your plants. Tomatoes of the indeterminate variety continuously grow and produce fruit throughout the season. Supporting them is vital as they can become quite tall and heavy, risking the breakage of stems or branches. Providing support using stakes, cages or trellises helps maintain their upright growth, facilitates air circulation, prevents diseases caused by contact with the soil and makes harvesting easier. Proper support also ensures better exposure to sunlight, aiding in the even ripening of fruits. Remove suckers of tomatoes. Removing tomato suckers encourages the plant to focus its energy on fruit production rather than excessive foliage. To do so, identify the small shoots that form between the main stem and branches, usually at a 45 degree angle. Gently pinch or prune these suckers when they're young using clean shears or your fingers. Ensure the cut is clean to prevent damaging the main stem. In scorching weather, hydrate your plants twice daily to keep those roots cool. Sunshine, feeding and consistent watering will reward you with luscious, homegrown tomatoes in no time. Tomatoes are typically ready for harvest when they reach their full colour, red, yellow or whatever their specific hue. They should feel firm, yet give slightly when squeezed gently. Depending on the variety, harvesting occurs about 20 to 30 days after fruit sets. Indeterminate types, like cherry tomatoes, yield continuously, allowing harvesting throughout the season. Regularly picking ripe tomatoes encourages more fruit production. I hope you like this information. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family.